Welcome to today's daily video devotional. My name is Brent and I am so glad that you're joining me today. What would you think if I told you that discipline will play a large part in determining your destiny? Sound crazy or sound interesting? Well, stay with me. I'm going to explain it all to you. It's a great day to be alive. Thanks so much for staying with me. So how does discipline determine destiny? Well, I'm going to take you into a passage of scripture today, and we're going to begin to unpack this for a few moments together. So right now, we're going to go and read Proverbs chapter 2, verses 1 to 9, and then verses 20 to 22 in the Passion Translation. Here's what it says. My child, will you treasure my wisdom? Then and only then will you acquire it. And only if you accept my advice and hide it within will you succeed. So train your heart to listen when I speak and open your spirit wide to expand your discernment. Then pass it on to your sons and daughters. Yes, cry out for comprehension and intercede for insight. For if you keep seeking it like a man would seek for sterling silver, searching in hidden places for cherished treasure, then you will discover the fear of the Lord and find the true knowledge of God. Wisdom is a gift from a generous God and every word he speaks is full of revelation and becomes a fountain of understanding within you. For the Lord has a hidden storehouse of wisdom made accessible to his godly lovers. He becomes your personal bodyguard as you follow his ways, protecting and guarding you as you choose what is right. Then you will discover all that is just, proper, and fair and be empowered to make the right decisions as you walk into your destiny. Follow those who follow wisdom and stay on the right path. For all my godly lovers will enjoy life to the fullest and will inherit their destinies. But the treacherous ones who love darkness will not only lose all they could have had, they will lose even their own souls. We need to be disciplined in seeking and acquiring godly wisdom. Why is this so important? Look around. Our culture is crying out for wisdom. It's desperate for it. We need it. And why? Because we just got to live God's way. We've got to live a better way. So discipline, when you hear that word, what do you think of? Do you think of punishment? Do you think of training for something? I know when I was a kid, I remember watching the Olympics in Atlanta and I thought I wanted to be a runner. So I did a couple laps in my backyard that night and guess what? I never went back to it ever again because I wasn't disciplined. But maybe there's some things in your life where you have been disciplined, you've seen the results, you've seen the benefits of it. The other morning, God hit me with this quote when I was getting ready. I can't be who I'm not, but I must become who I'm not yet. I can't be fake and pretend, but I also have to be disciplined enough to keep becoming who I'm meant to be, to keep walking towards my destiny. It's not enough just to sit there and go, well, you know, just didn't happen. Well, there's some things that you've just got to make a decision on and do. There's discipline. We see it in this passage. When we go to verses 7 to 8, it says, For the Lord has a hidden storehouse of wisdom made accessible to his godly lovers. He becomes your personal bodyguard as you follow his ways, protecting and guarding you as you choose what is right. We see that. He's looking out for you. He's protecting you as you make the right decisions. Verse 9 said, Then you'll discover all that is just, proper, and fair, and be empowered to make the right decisions as you walk into your destiny. As you make these decisions, you're walking into it. And then that verse 21 for all my godly lovers will enjoy life to the fullest and will inherit their destinies. We actually inherit our destinies and we walk into them by being disciplined, by making the right decisions right now. You've met people who aren't disciplined, right? They're the ones who go, ah, oh, it's just the way I am. It's how it always goes. It'll always be like this. I'm too old to change. They've always got an excuse for why they can't do something different. Doesn't that bother you? Doesn't that frustrate you to keep feeling like you're on a hamster wheel? Go, 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 never get anywhere? Well, if you actually want to discover destiny, then you need to be disciplined, at least if you want to discover one worth finding. But the one God has marked out for you, the way there is marked with wisdom, and discipline. So take an action step with me today, right now. Begin to think, where's one area in my spiritual life where I'm just not as disciplined as I need to be? And don't let shame and regret overtake you. Just sit down right now and pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you create some steps to be more disciplined. And then put it in place. Get a friend around to help you be accountable to that, to keep asking and checking in. Hey, are you sticking with what you said? No, I messed it up today. That's okay. Get back to it. 
We all need those people. Now, here's the other thing, another action step for you. If you haven't taken this step, this is the most important step you'll ever take. If you haven't begun a relationship with Jesus, let me invite you to the greatest relationship you will ever know that will transform your life. And if you're ready to make that decision, then please just repeat after me and believe these words in your heart. Let's pray together. Jesus, thank you for loving me, dying on the cross, and rising again to forgive me of my sins, but also to transform my life into the life that you have. I'm putting you in charge. You take the lead. And I'm going to learn to love you and I'm going to learn to trust you. But I'm going to need your help. So help me with that. And thank you, Jesus. In your name, amen. Lord, I also just pray for my friends right now who are watching this, that they just need to grow in discipline. God, we all do. So help us. Holy Spirit, right now, make clear to us where we need to make some steps and show us the steps to take to begin to live more disciplined lives so we can discover the destiny that you have for us and the opportunities that you've placed in front of us. Just thank you that your word is true and so valuable. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, why don't you read the rest of Proverbs chapter 2 today? Underline, highlight, write down what stands out to you, and then post it in the comments below. We want to track with you on this journey of what God's speaking to you. There's so much we can't cover in each devotional, but we want you to get that. And I just had a bug fly into my ear. It's so gross. But if you or someone you know would like or even need prayer, please email us, pray at the pc.ca. And if you just gave your life to Jesus, congratulations. We're so excited. Email us, pray at the pc.ca. We want to help you on this new journey that you've just begun. It's amazing. Now, before we go, I really want you to know this, and we mean it. We love you, we appreciate you, and I'll see you tomorrow.